on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Like, if I was to tell you, like, hey, I got this amount of money every single time I came on the show, y'all would be like, like, nigga, I do it. Are you telling us this. That's what I do. When Logic is on the show, every time, somehow, some way, he mentions how he's been in the military. You said, say that again. When Logic comes on the show, every time he comes on, he mentions that he's in the military. When Rilla comes on the show, more often than not, he talks about how he works in the suburbs and he's dealing with certain women, so on and so forth. He, every every single person do it, but nobody's been called out for it specifically, except Chaotic, which I don't even remember you on the panel with him. No, no, I have not been on the panel. I, I said I've watched every, I've been watching all the episodes. Like I subscribe to the, I subscribe to the channel. It I makes sure it. I'm just saying, like if you go. All I'm saying is, if you feel a certain type of way, let's just get it out in the open right now. Or I feel or, like you're trying to make me feel a type of way. No, 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 no. Or, or, or we're not gonna bring it back up again. Convince yourself sometimes when I hear you say it. I hear you well, say it. I convince myself. Oh, you, you are you done with the question? Or are you gonna let me answer? Yeah, first? yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, no, I don't have to convince myself that I love black people. I'm in a black Greek fraternity. Um, I've primarily associated around blacks all my life. I don't... Go ahead, guys. I guess I'm cutting people off while I'm, while I'm talking. Go ahead. I'll, I'll go on mute. No, just be you, bro. Uh, no, just I'll go on mute because I'm, I'm cutting people off while I'm talking. Just be you, bro. <laughs> again, again, guys. Uh, I, I, I'm full of black. I love black. I, I, I pay my taxes. I um, I don't do anything to denigrate or, denig or denigrate the black community. <clears throat> I have taught in the black uh, public schools that are predominantly black. Um, I was a uh, I worked in the courts. I did everything possible to work with black people, especially black males who were incarcerated, sir. So I, I don't have to prove that I'm black. I'm black because I, I work for the black community. I didn't say that you have to prove it, brother. I, I yes. guess what I'm saying is, is I just find it ironic that every time yes. I've watched, because yes. I watch all of them, and yes. it seems like every time you have to tell us that you're married to a black woman, you have to yes. tell us that you love black people and all these things. And it's like, wh why you got to keep telling us this? Like, Okay, so you don't want me to say those things anymore? I, I'm not. I'm not. I just kind of wanted to know the psychology behind it. Okay, so okay. Well, Quest, how about this? Um, I'm not telling if you, you to do anything, bro. Okay, okay. Well, I, I don't know what you want me to do here. Okay, so I'll stop saying these things if you don't like them. I didn't say I didn't like them. I just You're said I right. find it funny that you have to tell the people this every time you come on. That's not demanding or asking for you to do anything or anything to that nature. I just I said I find it funny that you have to do it or you have to say you say it every time we have a. Uh, we ain't got to stay on that. Okay. Keep I, I, I get you. I get you. Observation. I, I get you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. Guys, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share this video to everybody in your contact list. Uh, and guys, please get those super chats up, guys. These $5 super chats. Nah, nah. nah. Lapeef Network is the greatest network on YouTube. Uh, JR and Anton, Chicago Rilla Quest, QK, Lady Mogalette, and Courtney could have been anywhere else in the universe, and they're here providing great entertainment. Guys, let's get everything up. Go ahead, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's not. King Let's not navigate away from that. Why would you bring that up in the first place, Clark? <laughs> because that, that I'm making an observation. Uh, it's a, something that I've seen multiple Meaning times. Meaning what, though? Because we all observe, but apparently it, it triggers something specifically in you, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is that you insinuate. No, I didn't trigger anything. I just made an observation, and I find it funny that every time he's on, but what's funny, what I'm asking is, what do you find funny about it? I'm just curious. Because, I mean, you might as well say it with your chest. Don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Just I, tap I, dance I, around it. Like, if you're going to bring it up, then go all the way in on it. First off, ain't nobody tap dancing. I said what I said. I, don't like it. I, I meant what I meant. I think it's just funny. He does this, right? If you were to come on here and say the same particular thing, whatever, like, uh, I don't know. I can't even come up with anything. But if you said it repeatedly, show after show after show, I'm like, why do you feel like you got to keep telling us this particular thing? Like, if I was to tell you, like, hey, I got this amount of money every single time I came on the show, y'all would be like, like Nigga, I do it. Why are you telling us this. That's what I do. When Logic is on the show, every time, somehow, some way, he mentions how he's been in the military. You said, say that again. When Logic comes on the show, every time he comes on, he mentions that he's in the military. When Rilla comes on the show, more often than not, he talks about how he works in the suburbs and he's dealing with certain women, so on and so forth. He, every every single person do it, but nobody's been called out for it specifically, 
except chaotic, which I don't even remember you on a panel with him. No, no, I have not been on a panel. I, I said I've watched every, I've been watching all the episodes. Like I subscribe to the, ch I subscribe to the channel. It I makes get it. I'm just saying, like if you go, all I'm saying is, if you feel a certain type of way, let's just get it out in the open right now. Or I feel or, like you're trying to make me feel a type of way. No, 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 no. Or, or, or we're not gonna bring it back up again. Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin looks and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of T Channel get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause with counsel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because T Channel is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. Should women hold off buying a home if they plan on getting married? Should women hold off buying a home if they plan on getting married? I'm going to start with you, Island Girl Q. What are your thoughts about it? You know, it's funny. Uh, I saw something on Instagram. and That's where I got it from. It, yeah. It, it, it I sent it to me. I saw it. I'm like, man, that's kind of interesting. Go ahead. What did it say? It says something like women don't buy your own house because no man is going to want to come and live with you. That's masculine or something like that. Honestly, I kind of I don't say I, I don't want to say it's masculine, but, you know, it's a lot of work upkeep in the house, though. So, like, you got to find someone to cut the yard. You're paying extra bills. So, I mean, but it is it, I, I kind of understood where they were coming from because men usually want to have their own house. I don't usually see men moving in with women. I either see them have their own house and then when they get married, they either buy another house or the woman moves in with them. So I, I fully agree um, with that. I mean, they can they can buy it, but then I don't see a man moving in. I would say, hey, don't make that uh, a forever home. You could Airbnb it. You can rent it. But I wouldn't see a man really moving in with you. But you, I might be wrong, whatever. Um, but I definitely wouldn't see that as your forever home. But that's that's all I can say for that. All right, Miss Courtney Michelle, what are your thoughts about it? Should a woman hold off buying a home if they plan on getting married? No, I I mean I, I'm a homeowner and I'm not married yet. So um I don't think so, depending on especially your age and the real estate in your area. Um, it was actually cheaper for me to buy a home than to rent. So it was more financially better for me to buy a home. Um, the equity that I have from having my home for a couple of years is actually <laughs> skyrocketed. So when I do get married and I sell it, our house is about to be fly. So I, that's another asset that I bring to my husband. Hey, baby, I have money in this house. And so let's work together, get our own house and use the money that we have for something immaculate or for land or invest in. So, um, no, it was financially better for me to buy than to rent. And so I did. And uh, when I do get married, like I said, this is something that I'm able to bring to the marriage to help the family. How long you said it's something that you're able to bring to the to the relationship? Oh, right. Yeah, I have a. It's an asset. That I have, yeah. So I have some good equity, especially my neighborhood that is getting gentrified. So it's even more than, of course, than I bought. So when I do get married, I plan on selling it to have a house with my husband. And then that money is going to be to invest in us. So. All right. Mm -hmm. 